president also detailing for the first time those three conversations he claims he had with Director Comey about the Russia investigation. This is the White House is struggling not only to keep up with this firestorm, but changing its story time and time again. All of this effectively stalling the president's agenda. We have it all covered. The first time the president is now detailing those three conversations that he claims he had with then Director Comey about the investigation. The White House is struggling to keep up with this firestorm, changing its story again and again, and it is all stalling the president's agenda to work for you. Abundantly clear that President Trump values loyalty a lot. A source tells CNN James Comey's refusal to declare that loyalty to the president is part of the reason he was fired. Did President Trump demand personal loyalty over loyalty to the nation? Let's discuss. CNN political comments coming up for us. The president's decision to fire James Comey, putting the, the first time detailing three conversations he says he had with Comey about the Russia investigation. The White House is now struggling to try to keep up with what has become growing chaos. It has all but stalled the president's agenda, and we have it all covered this morning. Let's begin with our... We have new sound from President Trump. This time, it's not Comey specific. He was talking about other things in this interview, the future of what the U.S. is going to do in Afghanistan and the perspective on his legitimacy as president, as well as life on the campaign trail. Let's take a listen. Here, James, let me begin with you. Uh, the fact that in, in the span of the same, like, you know, 15 seconds, one minute of the interview, he says that Comey is a showboat or a grandstander, and then he calls the man, uh, Michael Flynn, who is under multiple investigations, a very good person. As a former member of the FBI, what's your read on that? I, I mean, Poppy, is the irony lost on any... Because there was rightful criticism of Comey. Um, that was a photo op. If he, if he truly wanted to work on the fractured relationship between his, between his FBI director, the acting FBI director, Andy McCabe, he does that privately behind closed doors. And if a boss comes in and says, you know, we don't need more resources. Uh, and you know what, James? Start looking at these leaks uh, parallel. Let's find out yeah. where this information is coming sure. from. Put your energy there. And forget about the collusion thing. Unless you get something that's really big, forget about that. Let's just focus on the interference. What would, what would those men and women have to say? Yes, right? Chris, 